Yeah. Shall we uh, yeah, sure, sit, sit down? down? Sure, sit down, sure. But you're from uh, Joe, which... Uh, oh yes, okay. My name's so, Peter. Hi, hi Peter, how are Peter you doing? Peter Andrew, hello. So I work for, it's called Mail Newspapers in, in England, so it's, it's the Daily Mail, and the Mail on Sunday, yeah. and Mail Online, which... You, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've heard of that, so, yeah. We don't know if it will be the Daily Mail and Mail Online or the Mail on Sunday, but we're going to have a chat and then we. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you though when when it's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Going so in. I won't interrupt you uh, no, anymore. But uh, Joe is a very yeah. respected uh, journalist. Yeah, yeah, okay. Is that yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> I did yeah. my research. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to see? Do you want to see the hour? Sure. Yeah. Sure, no problem. No problem. Then, it's um, a little bit of a laid back uh, couch. Patrick, do you, I mean, when you go outside, do you get recognised? I mean, could we take. Oh, he'll, he'll recognise me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but could we, do you have five minutes to take a picture outside? Yeah, no problem. Paper afterwards? No, okay. okay, thank you. Let me just take these off. As long as we don't take pictures at the red light district. Well, <laughs> no, yeah, it's a cold bill. <laughs> yeah, so that's the sun newspaper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And his, his, his <laughs> as well, eh? Huh? Oh, look at us for you. Watch out. For which the newspaper are you? They like. Are they, ha as we know them now, or were they different people and, uh, and characters back then? Um, well, as I just said, there were, it was uh, the beginning of uh, Van Gaal when he came, and he had uh, Jose Maria more as a as a intermediate to the to the players. Uh, he was assistant coach. Um, the time um, with those who was was great. It was really good. I enjoyed my time uh, in Barcelona and especially with uh, with Fakha, who took me over from from AC Milan at that time. And my experience was great right between them. Uh, I didn't have uh, a lot to do with, with Bobby Robson at that time, mm -hmm. but directly uh, Luis Van Gaal and, and, and Jose Mourinho were uh, were the, the the two people who really uh, you know get the team together and everything. And Guardiola was the, the captain. Captain Guardiola was the captain. Yes. Time. Yes. And Bobby said that in his day that Guardiola always, even then, was like had an opinion and was, you know, asking questions. Was it like that with Manuel? Yeah. yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, I think um, Guardiola was more his his, his length uh, in, in in on the pitch. He was uh, putting the players where they need to, to, to play. He was already. Uh, like like an, an, an orchestra when you have a conductor, a conductor. Yeah. and yeah he's a, he was a great player uh, of course and, and I, I enjoyed my time he was really helping the younger, younger players to uh, adapt <coughs> in the philosophy of, of Barcelona. Are you surprised then that we're talking 15-20 years later that these three guys are, are such big names, so famous, so successful? Does it surprise you now? No, no, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, of course, uh, Mourinho uh, was in, uh, in in his first, uh, early stage uh, in the footsteps of uh, of Van Gaal, but on a certain level, uh, he's he's he went his own way, and he did very good uh, with Porto and everything. So it was uh, it was pleasant to work under them and uh, uh, coaches at this moment totally different. And, and Guardiola, of course, yeah, he, uh, what, what he did as a, as a captain of, of Barcelona, and now with with, uh, with, Barcelona, or with Bayern Munich, and next year with Manchester City, he will uh, he will succeed, I think. So, uh, you, can, you can always have a uh, discussion with uh, with Macau in a positive way. But how did it work? If Van Gaal was giving instructions out, did Mourinho contribute, or did he just translate, yeah. or did he? No, he contributed. He contributed as well. Can you give me an example? I know it's a long time ago. In my yeah, it, it is a long time. But uh, you know, uh, Van Gaal is, is is the one who speaks a lot with his assistants, and um, it's important as an assistant coach, uh, the thing that that the head coach is saying, that he conducted to the to the, to the individual players in in their respect, uh, representative uh, language. Uh, he, he didn't dominate the Spanish very well at that time and Mourinho of course with, with a lot of Portuguese players uh, in the team he, uh, he could you know, he, can, you know, he, can, he, can, he could uh, explain uh, very good what, what Van Gaal meant and uh, uh, throw it out to the players thank you all my friends in, in Catalonia say that from their memory that Guardiola had a lot of respect for Van Paal, mm -hmm. but he felt that Mourinho he wasn't sure about, and Guardiola is very into Catalan, the, 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 the team, the Barcelona spirit, and felt that maybe Mourinho didn't 
understand that as much. Is that your memory that, that they, they Well, say? I honestly, I, I d haven't uh, felt like that. Yeah. No, I, I think that uh, Marie always respected the, 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 the Catalonian way mm -hmm. of, um, of, 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 of yeah, discussing things, you know. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I didn't have the feeling that he didn't understood the, the, the mm -hmm. philosophy of, of Barcelona or, or to be Catalan uh, in, in the team. I didn't have it for you. Yeah, so I, I'm going to ask plenty of questions about you. I'm sorry, but these, this is no always problem, this yeah. is always fascinating to me that you had three such guys in in, in the room and the relationship and is mm -hmm. interesting. And I mean, Van Gaal has I don't know. He's 64 years old now. Do you think that really it's a shame for him that he didn't come to England maybe 10 years ago and we could have really seen the the best of of him? He, He's obviously had a really difficult time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult to say that at the moment, you know, if things were going very good and nobody had, you know, discussed this, 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 sure. this, this, this thing. Yeah. He had, uh, he made it this, uh, his decision to go to, um, to Bayern Munich, uh, Barcelona. Uh, I think he made the right decisions. Mm. Uh, it's a pity that uh, the English uh, Premier League uh, doesn't see the quality of um, of Fajal at the moment, uh, and that's normal because if you if you see the results, they're not uh, that pleasant as mm -hmm. uh, as, as people uh, expected. Mm -hmm. Because if you have a budget uh, of of um, I don't know three hundred million pounds, mm -hmm. people expect something. And mm -hmm. if things doesn't work out at as 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 he wanted, as he as he thought. Uh, things are getting difficult. The the English media are getting on top of him. What 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 is normal? Because mm. um, you know, if you have the players uh, in the squad that can uh, make the difference, but they're not showing it on the pitch, mm. things are getting difficult. Mm. Um, of course, um, the current Manchester United uh, team is already uh, getting reflected to the class of ninety two. As you may uh, may know, mm -hmm. it's 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 a difficult thing to. Uh, you mean it's compared to the compared, club. Yeah, compared, yeah, yeah. yeah, and that's a difficult uh, point because the class of '92 was uh, yeah. was amazing. Yeah, you know, Beckham, Scholes, Neville, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. every other sure. uh, but as well. You would have played against them, of course. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and it, you know that was an amazing team. Yeah, uh, and and to get in compared with that team, it's it's very difficult to succeed as them, but. Of course, we all see that Manchester United is not playing uh, the way they have to play, and also the fans and the club. Mm. Sure, they're they're disappointed at the, at the moment, but it's, yeah, you know, it's, it's not an easy thing. But Van Gaal, you know, we I see him a lot. He stands tall. He puts his head up. Do you think though that inside or away with his family, he'll be he'll be more hurting. He'll be more sensitive than maybe he's showing. You know, because when he but when he speaks to us, he says. I know what I'm doing, da da da. Yeah. But you, we don't know what he's like in his own house. But you know him a little bit, so just tell me what. Well, what of course, you know is. everything. Every result uh, affects uh, a, a person, and and sure, he didn't expect this, but he is a, a proud man, and and I know Van Gaal very well. Uh, the situation affects him, mm. and yeah, for me, it's difficult to watch because mm. I know. Uh, when he was at Ajax, when he was at the Dutch national team, when he was at Barcelona, things were going uh, great uh, with some bumps in the road also in Barcelona, but at the end he, he did a great job. Um, and that's why uh, for me it's, it's difficult to, to see how um, how situation is going at the moment. Uh, I hope for him that he can stay next year, but uh, things were getting... Uh, you know, Manchester United at the moment are struggling. Do you think there it's is the, a the chance fact, then? Do you think there's a chance that he might stay next year? Well, I think the the, 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 the people who uh, who are in charge of Manchester United know what what uh, what kind of uh, coach they, they took and uh, with all the results that he had in Barcelona and Bayern Munich, uh, I hope that he can achieve it. But still, it will be a, it will be a diff difficult road. Is, it, is he like a, a father figure to you? Because it's amazing. You were only 18. He said, "Patrick, go and play in the European Cup final, Champions League final," and you, you know, you won it. And 
you know, the, the bond must be incredibly close. If someone, yeah, the bond is, is really close, you know, although I uh, don't see him a lot. Uh, sometimes we uh, we app, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the, 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 you know, it's it's again, it's it's difficult for me to see uh, that some things uh, are not working out like he uh, he plans he, that he used to, because he's a, he's a fantastic trainer, a perfect human being. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, when I was uh, eighteen years old mm -hmm. or seventeen, even. Uh, he took me from the from the youth up to the to the first team and and, and, and gave me a chance to express myself in, in the in the highest competition as a youngster, and it gave me a lot of uh, confidence the way he uh, he guided me through uh, to Ajax. Mm. Because obviously he says as well. I mean, not just you, but your most famous example. He's now giving like other eighteen-year-olds a chance at Manchester United and. Do you think he's the right person to develop? If you're an eighteen-year-old kid like Rashford, or you know, he's given debuts to a lot of them. From your experience, is he exactly the type of manager that is good for them? To... For the youngsters, yeah. he's, he's the uh, he's absolutely the the right man. Mm. Yeah, he knows uh, to mould a player from from the youth. Uh, you know, from a younger age, mm. uh, implementing uh, those kind of players in the first team. But you don't need uh, a lot. Of young players to to uh, to achieve big things, you need also uh, experience in the team. Yeah, and yeah. he's got he brought Schweinsteiger in the team to uh, to get more experienced players because he's searching the balance between experienced players and young players. Sure, you have to have a, a, a certain quality to, to 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 stay in the squad of Manchester United because yeah, Manchester United. Let, let's be honest, is one of the biggest clubs in the world, mm. and. Um, you have to perform every week mm. with the pressure, and yeah, if you can't handle the pressure, you can't play for the first team of Manchester United. Mm. Let's be honest. Now, in Manchester United, there's a big debate within the club that if Louis uh, does leave this summer, if if he leaves this summer, there's a split between Ryan Giggs because they think Giggs will promote the young players, and Mourinho may get success, but he's not the tradition of developing young players. Do you have a view? Do you have a view on that? Do you think that's a bit unfair on Mourinho, uh, his management? No, style? I think that uh, Mourinho is, is, is a great, uh, great trainer, and uh, if he sees something in, in young players, he can he will play them. Yeah. You know, uh, perhaps not as much a young players, but uh, how how you, you can if he doesn't want a young player to uh, to play. Yeah. Uh, those are players uh, Louis van Gaal brought in. But I think that he will he will first have a look in, in what he sees in, 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 in that player. You know, mm -hmm. he can't come in and say I don't want you because uh, I don't think that you don't have, have the quality. I think he will come in, mm -hmm. have a look in how he's performing mm -hmm. and then look how he can work with him. I think that's he will he will react and if you have the qualities to play in the first team, uh, national and internationally. Mm -hmm. He will give you the, the opportunity, yeah. I think. Yeah, so it's, no, it's not quite right. Some people say that Mourinho will never trust young players, but you're saying actually that's not true. If they're good enough, he, he, he will. Th that's what I think, them. yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, you've got I would do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Uh, but also, it's, I'm asking you because we look from outside, but you were not your older Barcelona. You were only 21, 22 Yes, then. I came 21. Yeah. So, so how did Mourinho treat you? At that time, when you were 21, did he go? I'm dealing with the stars, or was he? No, he no, really absolutely not. Got a connection with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a he's a very open, open uh, man yeah. and an open coach. And um, I think also the media and, and, and sometimes himself, he um, he's very uh, very straight and very this. But yeah. if you really know uh, the, the, the the man behind the coach, they're all. Uh, very laid back and, and very focused on the game and as I just said if you have the qualities to and, and, and you show them the, uh, the quality for sure you get a chance. Yeah it's interesting because one of the things that when Mourinho first came to Chelsea they said well he's never played at a high level he can't kick a, you know he's not a very good footballer himself or a top footballer and yet somehow he gets the respect of great players and how did you do that Barcelona you were all fantastic players and he here was a guy who hasn't played giving you instructions and you respect him enough to follow the instructions. How, 
How is it that he did that? Because I think that Mourinho is is a, is a, is a interesting in in a, in, a, in a individual player. You know, not only as a player but also as how how, how you are. You know, uh -huh. and I think that uh, that's essential uh, nowadays. Uh, how you treat uh, a player, uh -huh. not only on the pitch but also off the pitch. Uh, how you uh, speaking to to somebody. Yeah. You know, somebody needs a kick under their butt. Some yeah. some need a caress. Yeah. But you have to uh, know the player how to uh, how to speak and how to get under his skin. And yeah. I think that's that's essential, especially now uh, uh, with the young players. Mm -hmm. uh, how you can get the maximum out of a young player? Mm -hmm. That's getting under the skin. Know how you can uh, what you're saying he absorbs. Mm -hmm. I think that's uh, that's 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 essential essential at all. So. Can you, did you socialise with Mourinho or did he ask you at the training ground how you're settling in? What, how, what did you do for, for yourself in Barcelona that made you feel like? Well, how, he, did you uh, get, how did he get under your skin like? You know? Well, he's, uh, well, you said, a different person uh, like, like Van Gaal, I think. And, and, and he, uh, he, he spoke a lot with, uh, with, with the players, uh, getting information uh, of the player to, to get the information uh, to, to Van Gaal. Mm -hmm. and, and, I think that's that that was crucial. That's that's very important. You know, you you're trying to get every uh, the maximum out of every individual and, and play them as a team. And how you can get um, uh, the maximum out of out of a player to know a lot of things and, and not always a, a head coach get everything out of out of a player. Mm. You know, sometimes uh, the player says things to an assistant mm. and, and and more than mm. than, than, than mm. to a coach. Mm. And still, the coach needs to have the information mm. you know, to, 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 to yeah. know how to get to the player. Yeah. So um, I think I think that's that's really important to uh, for Van Gaal to pick the right assistant yeah. to getting things out of a player yeah. what he probably can't get out of a player. You know what? He, he's going to be a great manager, or can't, yeah. can't you tell? You he's, really even then? You yeah. really even saw that uh, he would he would be a manager. To explain how, 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 can, how yeah as I said you know he was a captain he was um, directing uh, the team you know sometimes you have to play high tempo yeah. but here all you also have to have when you you know uh, it depends on the game you also have to have uh, relax uh, keep the ball and let let the, the opponent come first and then you know get the ball uh, between the lines he was a um, he also, he had also the position. He was uh, playing in front of the defense. He know exactly before he, he got the ball where to play the ball, and we knew that. Mm -hmm. We knew that if the ball is coming to to, to Pep, we knew uh, where is he, he he wants to play the game. Mm -hmm. He wants to play the ball, and if you know that uh, in advance, you can you can uh, anticipate it, and mm -hmm. you know an opponent can't see where, where what he's thinking, but we knew, mm -hmm. and and that's that's the thing that that we discussed in the team. Mm. And that's how his team's playing now as well. Exactly. You know, you know uh, that position is, is uh, the way Barcelona is playing is essential. Yeah. If you're playing in front of the defense, uh, moving the ball from left to right, from front to back, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a director um, uh, position. Yeah, sure. And, and, <coughs> and even the big personalities like Rivaldo and Figo that you mentioned, was Pep still like the, the leader even even then because he was local and he was the captain? Yeah. Did they yeah. just look up to him? As no, not, not, not really look up, but they respect him a lot. Him, but, yeah. but you get the respect back. Eh? It's not that yeah. he was like, uh, uh, we have to respect. No, sure, he was sure. like the captain. We yeah. respect him. He respect yeah. us. Yeah. So it was a very good uh, ambience, uh, atmosphere yeah. uh, around, around, uh, around the team. But that's, that's, that says a lot about him because at that time Rivaldo was a world star. Figo was a world star. You'd won the Champions League. Pep hadn't hadn't got that kind of that success at that time, and yet he sort of says a lot for his personality that you guys all respected him as the, the captain. Yeah, so. absolutely, absolutely. But you know, uh, even though he didn't won, uh, well, he won a few champions, uh, championships, but not really the. Oh yeah, he won also the, the uh, good, great prizes. Yeah, and he won a Champions League then. Uh, I don't think so. I think, I think he, yeah, he won the, the Champions League against Sampdoria. High ninety two. Yeah, yeah, he won yeah. with uh, good against, knowledge against yeah, yeah. Uh, Sampdoria. It was yeah. at Wembley. Yeah.
yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, cool. So he was yeah. he was quite respected, <laughs> yeah. and he was from La Masia. He grew up in in Barcelona, so well, he had his uh, yeah. he had his uh, his prices behind his name. <laughs> <laughs> do you think if if <clears throat> if if Mourinho takes over, do you think Van Gaal is a he's got broad shoulders? Do you, do you think he will think that's football, or do you think he'll be really? I mean, Mourinho was his assistant, and now Mourinho may may take his job. Do you think that that will affect Van Gaal? Do you think that will? Well, of course, he's not happy because if you come to a big club like Manchester United, you want to succeed, mm. and uh, you know uh, it would it would be very strange if it doesn't affect him. Yeah, sure, sure. That's 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 what I think. Uh, but it wouldn't matter to him if it was Mourinho. He'd be disappointed about not staying. But if he, he wouldn't. You wouldn't rather someone got it than Mourinho because Mourinho was no, 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 no. But because uh, that's not that's not a thing for him to to uh, how you say to uh, to choose yeah, who's going sure. to be trained. Sure. That's that's on other people. Yeah. But um, he wouldn't be uh, less uh, gutted that uh, Mourinho will take over. Yeah, yeah, no, sure. You know, he 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 is and he still is a great trainer and. Things didn't work out uh, now. Uh, what he, he thought of the team, mm. and yeah, still is for me. It's it's, it's difficult for me because I know him how he is, and you'd like to see him there next season. I like, like to see him you succeed. Like see him. Yeah, I like to see him succeed. Yeah. So I'd like to see him uh, stay in, in Manchester United. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's a nice thing to, to say. Yeah. Just one final thing on this whole thing that if if Pep and, and Mourinho um, join the Premier League. As rivals, <laughs> I mean, obviously we know what happened to them at Barcelona and Real Madrid. You know, when they were rival managers, yeah. they were they were fierce rivals. This is why I was asking what they were like. They were you're saying they were basically at Barcelona. Yeah. They were friends. They were they got on well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because but something happened with the pressure of being managers. Um, of course, you know the the media is also a, a, a very impressive and <laughs> and, and big strength uh, in this, but. I'm sure if, if you if they meet if, you know with each other, mm -hmm. they they shake their hands because it's 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 also a theater. Eh? Yeah, okay. It's also uh, you have to react uh, mm -hmm. like like uh, how the how the press is is is, is um, uh, 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 expro expressing this game because it's Barcelona Madrid. It's the biggest game in the world. Let's be honest. You can't. Uh, you can't handle you know the pressure is so high and, yeah. and uh, with such uh, emotional uh, impact it would be strange if they you know uh, hugging each other yeah, uh, in true. front of everybody you know it, it has to be also yeah. a, a, a piece of, of acting yeah because that's also something uh, what's important yeah but uh, I'm for sure if they're facing each other in the, in the Premier League again doesn't matter which team Mourinho is going to coach or is Manchester United or a different team. They will, they will get on with each other. Yeah, Guardiola. Who, who, which one, as a manager, was more fitted in with you as a, as a player? Do you think? Who would have been the best manager for you, Patrick Clark? Oh, it was a difficult one. Yeah, no, it's a difficult one. I understand that. You know, but it's it's very interesting. Well, uh, uh, I played with, uh, with uh, Guardiola. So I, I, I have, uh, I think, uh, something special, with Guardiola. Yeah. Not that I. Can't play under under uh, or Mourinho, but yeah. if you uh, have been a player uh, and now uh, have a coach like who you played with, you have you have a special relationship. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if I have to choose, maybe it's, mm -hmm. it's Guardiola. But but interesting. You think Van Gaal deserves comparison with them? You think Van Gaal deserves to be on the same, regarded with the same respect as the other two guys? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Maybe yeah. even more because. Yeah. He's, 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 he was he was a lot earlier mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in in this game mm -hmm. as a coach and, and he 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 made them big as well as a mm -hmm. player and also as a coach. Mm -hmm. So I think they uh, even Pep as Mourinho has uh, a lot of uh, uh, thanks for yeah, uh, yeah, for no, from God, you know? yeah. So uh, both. Uh, both people, or both both uh, Pep and and, and Jose, yeah. uh, respect yeah. Van Gaal uh, a lot. He think he, you think he Van Gaal was influential on their yes, their that's what I think. I 
that's interesting. Sure, at the moment that they became trainer, they, they went their own way, but yeah. they, they had a lot to do with uh, Van Gaal, both. Mm -hmm. How to get under a player's skin, maybe that's what they learned as well from him. Um, well, every every uh, every coach has their the, the, the way to go, uh, their own way to go mm -hmm. under the skin of a, of a player. But uh, Van Gaal was was on, on the beginning of their mm -hmm. career, both as a player as a as a as a coach, mm -hmm. so to be coach uh, for a club. Right. Okay. That's my that's my big. Can you uh, do both challenge. at the same time? I don't want to do both at the same right. time. Because so you would leave Curacao know that, that if you got offered a good club job yes, for three yes, months. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so have you applied for like Nottingham Forest? Do you apply? Do you, do you say when a vacancy becomes? Um, well, uh, if, 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 if there's a nice opportunity to, 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 to join a, a good club, uh, even in the Championship or in uh, the, the Premier League, I, yeah. I would love to... Uh, but do you, send, do you fill in an application form and send other... No, 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 not yet. No, okay. no but uh, if, if some uh, nice clubs are available, um, I would really love to... to yeah. Coach but is you're saying team. that they've got to kind of maybe approach you first before you say... No, no, no. Uh, if, uh, if uh, what I just said, if, if a nice club mm. is available and I, uh, I got my, my, my people over sure. in England to, to, to look at a good club, yeah. I'm really happy to, to, to come. To have a look at that, okay. Yeah. I only mentioned Forest because it only came about Yeah, Forest, uh, Fulham. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Whatever. But you haven't applied. There's no application that's gone in as we. No, we but see. for now, uh, you know that you can put it in, in the newspaper that uh, if a nice. Uh, sure, sure. If a nice opportunity is there. Yeah. Because I think part of the thing is, although this piece is going to be a lot about Van Gaal and, and Guardiola and Mourinho and and anybody you reading can put it. Put a little piece as well for sure. <laughs> no, absolutely, but also it, it's kind of subtle. Chairman who read it think. Sure. Wow, you you've mixed with some very successful yeah. people, and I'm asking you that some of it must have gone into your head as well. Yeah, absolutely, manager. absolutely. Of, of course, you know, uh, here in Holland, there are players who I played with who got the opportunity. Mm. You know, and uh, all I ask and all I uh, would, ha would really like to have mm. is an opportunity mm. to show. Mm. You know, if you don't have an opportunity, you can't show it, and. That's uh, sometimes frustrating because mm -hmm. uh, I I, um, I was with 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 Koku, with uh, a lot of uh, Dutch coaches. I was in the, uh, to to make the, the course, you know, to, mm -hmm. to have the license, mm -hmm. and they all got the opportunity to, to mm -hmm. do it. Uh, I do my uh, my thing now with Curaçao, and we did last year a good job. Only the last game against El Salvador we lost. Mm -hmm. But um, we did a great job, and uh, my aim is really to, to, to coach a, a nice team and to bring good players in and to surprise the world. We're, we're, we're vacant, and my, my, my people in, in England they, they said that I might be interested, but I never had the opportunity mm. to speak with them. Sure, sure, yeah. And, and that's, that's, that's strange yeah. and frustrating. Yeah. Because what you say, it's, it's normal that I'm not, I'm not uh, I say, uh, privileged to be directly the coach, even though that I have played um, at a higher level uh, than a lot of uh, coaches in, in England, yeah. but to have the opportunity yeah, yeah. to say what you want and you know, to put your vision uh, towards the guy who was, who was uh, Who's uh, deciding? Mm. An interview yeah, doesn't yeah. cost nothing. Yeah, yeah. Sure. You know, I'm I'm flying now from here, 45 minutes to wherever in England. Mm -hmm. uh, where, you know, if the club, uh, I think that suits me. Yeah. I would love to have an yeah, interview. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I would love to have an interview. Well, I'm here. Um, Newcastle United, obviously, Rafa Benitez has just been put in charge. I know you speak to Sunes, you speak to... Just, yeah, he's been... Uh... Rafa's the new Newcastle manager. Oh, okay. He had his first game last night. I left you, I bought you a paper, they lost 1-0 to Leicester. Was, but Rafa, Rafa's yeah, first but game. Yeah, that, but that's not, is that, that, that's not uh, new, eh? that uh, they <laughs> lost to Leicester, because what, what, what's happening to Leicester, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> that's what I, I love. Yeah. From, from a club who never really thought of, of being able, well, to... I think they will be champions. Yeah. Because all the rivalry, Arsenal, Manchester, uh, City, they draw or they lose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's, 
You know, it's, it's, it's an amazing story. And people in Holland are aware of it then? Even though well, I'm aware of yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's exciting for it's, people. It's amazing. Yeah. Like, you can write a book or make a, make a film of it. About it. Sure, sure. Um, Especially if they really are the champions. Going to do it. Well, I, I, I would love to see that. Yeah. Eight games left, they're five points clear. So, yes. You know. <laughs> and, and the big games, uh, the big team have to play each other still. Yeah, yeah, sure. Like United and City. That's right. Um, we're all going to see. No one can quite believe they will do it, but we'll, we'll no, see. But they keep winning, so... They keep winning, exactly. Uh, but what, the 1-0, one you want to speak about the 1-0... Uh, no, I want to talk about New, Newcastle, because they're in the bottom three. Mike Ashley McLaren has gone, Steve McLaren has been sacked. Rafa Benitez has come in to try and save them. Just because of your connections at Newcastle, I wonder what you've made of it all, because when you joined Newcastle, they were a top four or five club. Now they're at the bottom, and what, what yeah, do you well, make of it? Why? Why? Why does it happen? It's 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 very strange because every time uh, in the end of the Premier League, Newcastle is between seventh, eighth, ending. Mm. But now they they're they're really uh, struggling. They're really getting in, in a dip, and even Benitez uh, shirts. It's it's too early now, but they lost against uh, mm. Leicester City, who's in a, in, a, in a great run. Mm. But um, it will be a, a difficult task. To get them out of, out of the relegation, I hope really at the bottom of my heart that they mm. that they succeed. But uh, uh, it will be a difficult uh, task. But they have they have quite a good team. Yeah, well they've got Win Wijnaldum and some Dutch players. Wijnaldum is great. Yeah, Jan Mats there. Yeah, Sim de Jong. Sim de Jong is uh, was injured for a long time. <coughs> Ayosi. They have yeah. Cisse, Sissoko. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be where they are. No, no. no. What do your you know your connections at Newcastle. What when no. you talk about it? What do they what do they make of it? What's the have they got? Can they have they got a, an answer why it's happened? Like that? I haven't spoken to uh, to nobody from uh, from Newcastle in, in inside. Mm. Spoke to Kenny uh, Shepard yeah. uh, a little bit, but I don't know what it is. They have like what I just said. They have individual players, but they're mm. not a team. No. And and that's uh, you know if you're not a team. You won't win the games.